Hi, my name is Nev, and this video is primarily for students studying the Information Digital Technology course in New South Wales, Australia, but could be used by anyone. Uh, in this course, we want to create a uh, Word document. We want a shortcut, a keyboard shortcut, which will insert today's date. Uh, and I'm going to do it two ways. I'm going to do it with a little button in the uh, shortcut uh, bar, in the quick access toolbar, and I'm also going to do it with a keyboard shortcut. Now, I've already done this once. Here's my uh, blank template, and you can see that it is not saved as a template. Uh, I've got another one here which is saved as a macro enable template. The template is in there. It's slightly larger because that is using a button. Uh, this one here is using the keyboard shortcut. Okay, I've got this one open. And before I go anywhere, I'm going to do File, Save As, and I'm going to save it as a macro enabled template. Often when you, now I'm going to make this 24th just so that it doesn't conflict with the others. Save. Uh, often when you open uh, documents with uh, macros in them, you'll have these con security concerns and beware that documents prepared by other people with macros could contain viruses. Alright, for us let's start. We want a new macro which we'll find under the view menu. If I start recording then I can give it a name. Uh, I'm going to call it uh, date from button. And I do not want it to affect all of my templates, my main template. I just want it to affect this particular document. And we'll do it from a button. In here, I want my button to only ever appear on this document. My quick access toolbar to be customized on this document. I can either double click this or add and I want to modify and choose an icon. Now uh, I'm just going to choose uh, a uh, yellow box. By the way all these icons would probably be 32 by 32 pixels. Uh, very small BMP images or ICO images. So OK. We can see my icon has gone up there. It's not yellow, but at least we know it's a little box. Yeah? Uh, we are recording. So whatever we do is going to be remembered. Now, in our text field, we have date and time. Let me just make this larger, and you'll see that more clearly. In text, we have date and time. Uh, I'll choose a long format. And now we are done, so we'll go back to View, Macro, Stop Recording. Let's delete that date and click our button, and bingo, it works. So if I save this document, uh, it's OK. Now, what will happen is that when we save a template file, it will not be able to, certainly not in the old versions of Word, it won't be able to save this uh, button in the quick access toolbar. So I'm going to do this again now, but I'm going to do it with a keyboard shortcut. So I'm going to create a macro, and this one is date from, by the way, you can have no spaces here, no dashes from uh, keyboard. And again, I just want it to affect this document and I want to go from the keyboard. Now, what about, we're doing a date, so what about Alt D? I can see that that is unassigned and so let's assign it. And close. 
uh, I'm going, my macro is recording so there's a little uh, image of a tape which is on my screen you may not be able to see it I want to insert a date where am I date I'll choose a different format this time so I know the difference and uh, let's just have that one I do not want to update this automatically because if I reopen the document two days later it'll show me a different date okay uh, let's stop recording view macro stop recording and uh, let's try that I'm just going to put my cursor down here and I'm going to do alt D oh amazing I can put my cursor here alt D and look at that all right again I'm going to save my document and you have the choice really uh, you just have to do the or the keyboard shortcut one now uh, as was described in my document I've not only got to do this but I have to develop a training guide for doing it so I've actually got one note open I've got I've already taken some screenshots of what I've done and then I would paste those into my Word document uh, and then create, sorry, into this Word document and uh, I would create my help file. You'll notice I've got a couple of links here. They're open. Uh, here's the Microsoft link for those who want to work from text and this video is actually very concise in terms of creating macros in Word and in Excel. Uh, so I think I'll end this video now and create a second one which just uh, uh, revises capturing screenshots and allows you to get screenshots which has got which have got little drop downs like that. It's quite hard to do. Thank you for listening so far.